Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 talk, where I'll be discussing entitlements in Dynamics 365 field service. Now we've had entitlements for cases for quite some time, but recently we can also use them in conjunction with field service. Entitlements allow us to give discounts to materials or services for work orders. Now there's two different parts to entitlement logic. We can create a simple entitlement, but we also have the option to create more complex entitlements. And in this first video, I'm going to focus on the simple entitlement and the second video will be focused on the more complex entitlements. But before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. I'm a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Feel free to check out my blog at d365goddess, follow me on Twitter at d365goddess, or just connect with me on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code. So let's get started. So if you want to access entitlements, you're going to have to go here to settings. And if I scroll down a little bit further, you're going to see under ser service delivery, you're going to be able to see the entitlements. So let me just go ahead and open that up. Let's create a new one. So let's start entering some information. I'm going to say warranty. It's going to be a warranty entitlement and this is actually going to be for breaks and gears. There we go. So the start date is obviously exactly that. When are we going to start this entitlement and when is going to end? I'm going to say this is going to start today and it's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe a year, maybe six months, whatever your warranty might be. So I'm going to say this is going to be one month. Let's see here. We said the 20th. So let's also do that the 20th. And then obviously I want to make sure that this is for a work order, right? So this is, I guess, very self-explanatory, right? This is a date range from when to when this is going to be active. And then we're going to have our entity type is our work order. And then we only have the option to select discount percentage and price list. Now from here, the applies to section is where it becomes interesting. So here's where you're going to configure that this discount, whatever that discount might be, but is that going to apply to just products, just work order services or both work order services and products? So I'm going to say it's going to be both in this particular case. Then what you can do is you can actually tell the system to use prices from a predefined price list. So that's what you can define here. I actually have a warranty price list, which is 70% of my quote unquote default, my regular price list. So that's what I'm setting right over here. Then on top of that, this is again optional. You can either do a price list to apply or you can do a percent discount or you can do both. Right. So the thing is that you have to have one of those populated. And if you don't do that, the system will get upset with you and say, we need, if you can see here, both a price list, um, you know, and the percentage discount cannot be left blank. We need to have one of them. So let's just go ahead and set this to my warranty price list. But on top of that, Let's give them another 20% discount, right? You could, you could do that. Most people probably wouldn't, but you could do that. So I'm going to not do that. But on top of that, what we can also set here is the, the priority, right? If a company has multiple entitlements, which one should have the priority? So obviously the smaller the number, the higher the priority is, right? So if this one is one and I have another one that's 10, the number one has the highest priority. At the time when that particular work order is getting created and this entitlement with the highest priority is being associated with those work order and or products uh, and or services, I should say, you can still manually change the entitlement that was applied. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And here we go. Now at this particular point, because I do not have anything else configured, I don't have any entitlement applications and I don't have any products. This means that all work order products and services for this particular account will be discounted. This warranty price list will be set to all of the products and all of the services for work orders for this particular account. Now, if I didn't want that, if I only wanted to give them discounts on certain services, I could do that as well. So let's say that we're only going to give discounts for a heating regulator and also for, let's do another one, roof ventilator services. Those are services. So I have one product, I have one service. And now I can just go ahead and say, save that. And then my last step is to activate that. What this means is that now I will give these discounts, but only to these work order products and services. So what's happening is that if I add a work order to this account, Breaks and Gears, and any of those work order products include a heating regulator or any of the services include roof ventilator services, those are going to be charged on my warranty price list. So let's just go ahead and save that and let's activate our entitlement. So now that we've done that, let's actually now create a work order and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and create a work order for my brakes and gears account. There we go. I'm actually going to pick my fan out incident type because that has a little bit of everything and I can set a priority, whatever. We don't care about that right now. And I'm going to save and close that. Okay. So now let's take a look at that work order. We just saw, right, that we have a heating regulator and roof ventilator services that are discounted. Let's take a look. So I'm just going to open the work order. My incident type added certain products and services to this work order. We can see here a heating regulator, a roof ventilator fan motor and roof ventilator services. So according to what we just configured, we need to get discount discounted services on this roof ventilator service and the heating regulator, but not on the roof ventilator fan motor. All right, let's take a look here. So I'm just going to take a look at my products and let's first take a look at my heating regulator. That one should have been discounted. Now, if I go ahead and click on other, you can see here that my entitlement actually has been applied and because of that, my warranty price list has been set. If I then go to my estimate information, I see here the pricing that's coming from that price list. All right, now let's take a look at my roof ventilator fan motor. Let's again take a look at other and we see here that there is no entitlement because we do not have this roof ventilator fan motor associated as a product on the entitlement we have for this particular account. Okay, great. This is perfect so far. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the work order real quick. Let's see here. Go back to the work order. Now let's take a look at those services. And that should have exactly the same results as we just saw. Let's just go ahead and take a look at other. And again, we see our warranty entitlements and our warranty price list. 
And again, the estimate information is coming from that price list. Now, again, keep in mind what I said earlier, if we would also have data in that percent discount list, let me go back to the entitlement. If we would have a discount amount in this field as well, that discount would be on top of that price list, right? So that would be right over here and that would be subtracted as well from that price. But since we didn't have anything in there, that didn't happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and be sure to check back again next week for part two of this video where we're going to make it a little bit more complicated. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.